guys, I'm Tyson with Ag Aviation Adventures and appreciate you tuning in today. We are working on a little bit of cover crop, so we're going to give you a bird's eye view here of what's going on. I'm obviously on the ground at the moment and we are just loading the airplane. I just fueled up and I'm pulling forward here for this truck so that it can pull up and load the hopper with seed. So we actually have a wheat, radish, and rye, I believe is the mix that we're doing. So the truck just pulls in. You can see that it has a big auger on it. I've got Cali on the wing. And the mix is actually in the back of the truck, that big hopper that's back there. That's where everything is. It comes up this tube. There's actually an auger in there and it gets dispensed right here. So Callie's on the wing and she opens the hopper for me. And then you can see it just going in. And if I get down here, you can see it starting to fill the hopper there. And like I said, Callie's on the wing because this airplane, you have to manually open up the lid that's right there. But some airplanes that do this a lot, um, we don't really do much of it. Maybe, you know, a couple times a year. But if you do a ton of it, you can actually have an automatic opener on the lid. So all I would do is hit a button and that lid would open up. And then I'd actually have an auger inside of the hopper here. And it would sit there and spin and dispense all of the material throughout the hopper so that it can get full. So now that that's done, the truck's going to back away. Callie's going to go ahead and close my hopper up. We're going to take off and we'll see you in the air. All right, we are at the field. Now this particular field was about 33 miles from the airstrip that I took off from. And that's kind of far. 90% of the fields are usually probably within 15 miles, maybe 20. Uh, but even 20 can be stretching it from our home location. And this one took about, oh, 12, 13 minutes to get to. So still not a terrible amount of time in the air. You may notice that I am a little bit higher in the air than when I'm spraying. So when I'm spraying, I'm about, oh, five to ten feet in the air and when you're spreading cover crop I'm over power line height and over trees and so I'm more like 50 probably about 50 feet in the air uh, I kind of like it because I'm not worried about hitting power lines which is uh, that's nice so you may ask yourself well why are you doing this what's what's the deal with cover crop the reason that I'm doing this, well, it can have kind of a, a multitude of reasons, but there are a handful of reasons why people do it. And I'm spreading this into standing corn, meaning that the corn has not been harvested yet. It'll, it's going to be harvested here in a couple months in the fall. So why? Well, it can prevent soil erosion, basically help to control that as well as improve soil bi biological properties, and it can supply nutrients for the next crop that you're gonna be planting, as well as suppress weeds. And that one is because if the soil is just completely bare, it has a chance for weeds to overtake the entire thing. But if there's cover crop there, then that cover crop is also fighting with the weeds for control of the soil. So it basically helps to suppress the weeds that may want to grow in that barren soil. And it can also break pest cycles. Pests will actually, you know, if you're like, oh, I'm, I'm planting soybeans, and then I'm planting corn, and then I'm planting soybeans, and then I'm planting corn. You can always kind of have a problem with pests that come and go between these crops, but if you throw something in there like a cover crop, that can help to break that cycle so that you're getting rid of those pests. And then another thing that it does is if you have livestock, 
You can actually let the livestock forage in the cover crop, I guess depending on what cover crop you're spreading, but you can let uh, cattle graze on it and use it for food. So you come in here, you harvest the corn, and by the time you harvest it, you already have the cover crop coming up, and at that point you could let your cattle come in and there would be food there for them. So uh, it does kind of have a multitude of, of reasons. I think soil control is a really big one, as well as the nutrients for the soil. And if you, you may hear this, I imagine you do, that buzzing sound in the background, that's uh, my stall warning horn going off on the airplane, if you're ever wondering exactly what that is. Uh, I think you saw the spreader and stuff, and I apologize because we had a really cool shot. We had a GoPro set up on the spreader so you could kind of really see the action. Because I know right now you can't see anything. It's a very light amount that's coming out. I'm, I'm currently putting out 14 and a half pounds per acre. And so I know that you can't see anything, but we were going to have this awesome shot outside the airplane. Uh, however, on the way to the field, the GoPro decided to depart the airplane and take flight on its own. So it's somewhere uh, between here and 33 miles that way. Our name and phone number is on it, as long as an email, as well as an email address. So if you guys find it, feel free to return it. It's in Minnesota somewhere. Now with the cover crop, this is a little bit lighter of a load. So in the hopper, I only have about 2,000 pounds. If I'm sprayed and I have a full hopper. I have about 4,000 pounds in the hopper. And the reason for only having 2,000 pounds is because I can't physically fit any more seed into the hopper. It's full. I'm not full on weight, but I'm full on volume. Uh, also, if you're like, well, 2,000 pounds, uh, how much is that? Well, a sedan, like your four-door sedan, is probably... Uh, less than 3,000 pounds, probably around 2,800, maybe 2,500. Uh, so having a full hopper of liquid is, I mean, it's like freaking putting a car on the front of the airplane. That's a lot of weight that's on there. But this thing flies great right now, only 2,000 pounds in there, and every pass a little bit's coming off. So if you guys have any questions about cover crop or anything in particular, like always, you know, leave them in the comment section below we'll get back to you and if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and also be sure to subscribe to the channel because we would appreciate that as always fly low and fly fast although right now i'm not flying so low because i'm 50 feet in the air but i'm still trying to fly fast <laughs>